Hello there. This is only one Kenobi. Only one. And as you can see, I have a skiff without a pilot. So that's why in this video I'd like to open Poach Snicken. Snitkin. Come on, man. Get your, get your facts right before you start recording another video. I'm talking to myself. Yeah, Poach Snitkin. Snitkin. So I got this guy because I was watching a review of Black Dark Ewoks and he was you know, talking about it, and I just figured, you know, there was a lot of talk at the time as well. People were buying second skiffs because, you know, I think it was Star Action Figures and a few others. Um, what are they called now? Uh, Star Action Figures and uh, Kapow Toys were selling off skiffs. I don't know where they got them from, but... So I got myself another skiff, and um, I just, you know, I've got enough characters. I've got a lot of them on the bridge here. On the bridge, you know what I mean, on the deck, and I can spread them out a bit. I've got quite a lot on this. I did have... Um, Brock on there, but now I've moved them over here, and I also want to get Poach Snick in on there, so I'm going to open him for you. Check out the back. It's got um, a freeze frame. I actually thought you could see him on this image, but I don't think you can. You can see uh, Brock there. He's going over. He's just to the left of Luke. That looks like Kithaba on the ultra left, but these two here, I thought one of them was him, but I don't think it is because he's quite a big guy. I've seen him on other images, but so I must have just, must have just been dreaming it. There's another image there on the back. Of all the action on the uh, the, on the skiff, that, that is Kitha for that. No, it's not. It's Barada. I'm lying to you. That's Barada, right there. There's Luke there. So as I say, I don't set mine up to look like the Battle of Carcoon. I just have mine as an everyday, normal, chilled out cruise of the Katana. Inside, I've got a mixture of a few Imperial dignitaries. I've got a few smugglers and you know, high up people in the uh, Jabba circle. Hondo and Arca. Hondo and Arca's in there as well, just to join the uh, entourage. Why not? You can do whatever you want. I love this thing. It's a really good thing. Um, coming up to two years ago, round about now is when we got the barge. And uh, if you were lucky enough, I don't take it for granted. Gotta be in the right place at the right time, and uh, thank you, Fanta Tracks. That's all I can say. Awesome, so I think it's time I open Pote or Pote? Is it Pote Snitkin or Pote Snitkin? Anyway, whatever. Interesting looking figure. Big shout out to Erin. Erin of uh, Toy Shelf Review. He's a, oh, I love that guy. If you, you know, expecting a figure or you're looking at a figure or you're researching what you want to buy. Nine times out of ten, if not ten out of ten, he's got that figure on his channel. And he films it in such good detail and he edits it together. So respect, Erin. Thank you. So he has a good review of this, and he says, like everybody says, it's a really well finished figure, but uh, just the you know the articulation isn't great. But still, you just can't imagine him piloting the skiff. You can imagine him, you know, being inside the skiff or the palace or something. But he's quite a big guy, but that doesn't matter. He's obviously very good with the piloting skills. So let me get this all set up for you. It's going to mount the camera. There you go. I've got him there. Let's give you a closer look and keep the camera still. Now it's on. The Stand there, and there you are. Interesting. Power of the Force 2. There's some gems in that line, you know. I think this is going to be one of them. And then the Power of the Jedi. I've, I've done a lot of opening of the Power of the Jedi figures. I've uh, done a Tessic recently, and some really good figures. So awesome. Just a bit dusty on the top there. That's not my dust, that's the previous owner. Shall we open it? I think I'm just going to break this thing open, man, so just stand by. I know somebody's kept that really pristine, but <laughs> it's very rare that I open figures like that, you know, in one massive boom like we did when we were kids. You know, when I open vintage collection packaging, I take a lot more care, you know? Like when I opened this recently, I went right round, because I might use that for something. That's just another, a whole new world vintage card, you know, you can do stuff with it. It's the best packaging. It's reusable it's somewhere down the line but yeah there you go. look at that one great i'm filming again in natural light because you know you can't beat it and just before i lose the light i've done a fair few videos this afternoon but i'm just gonna you know shoot this before the sun goes down man there he is there's that detail i'd like to give you a first look i love the color of his head it's not as a an intense green as a, a green neat though you know like uh woof but uh Actually, I beg your pardon, I don't mean Wolf, I mean Klaatu, he's got the intense green. But would this guy go well in the vintage collection? Could they redo him? They could. 
they could give him, oh, do you know what? Actually, if they gave him soft goods, he would be awesome. Because one of the reasons why he's got limited articulation, even before I take him out, I'd assume that's something to do with the fact that he's got hard goods outside. I don't like his orange outfit either. I'm going to take all this out. Ah, there you go. This is the uh, weapons he has. Let's have a look at that, see? Interesting. Look at the speckles of silver on that. That's really good. And there's a Bayonet, whatever you call it on the end there, is that right? Oh, let me take this freeze frame out. I do collect them. When I say collect them, I just mean I keep them, you know? I think, I think I'm sure you will too. I mean, you'd be daft to throw that away, wouldn't you? Like a cell, cell, a cell from a Star Wars film. I have a rot rotating platform here, so stay tuned. I shall put them on there. Oh, I hate that sound. And here he is, this close up before I get him spinning. See that detail? Look at that, the patchwork or whatever you call it. It's really well sculpted, that, isn't it? Look at that. Really good. Look at his six nostrils there. He's got hands like... Um, what's that guy called? Reyes. He's got... like He looks like he's wearing boxing gloves. Little pouch there. He's, he's very... Mythological, isn't he? Like folklore. Like one of those kind of... Creatures like a giant or something you'd see in a fairy story. Fairy tale. You know what I mean? But he's a pilot on a skiff for Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Does he want that weapon? Well, I'll put it in his hands. So there's one rotation. That'll do. Now, I'll also show you what it's like with this off. I'm sure this comes off. And I do not like the look of him with this off. So that's why it's going to be kept, kept, keep it on. See, it's very intense orange it's not actually as bad as i thought i saw a video and it was really bright but uh i'll be keeping that on there you get a quick look at that there uh, here you go right let's get this in his hand i don't like the power of the force weapons very much that they're oversized but still it'll do somewhere I'll, I, I don't waste anything i'll put that as a prop somewhere or maybe put it on board in one of the compartments or something, I don't know. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to talk to you about his articulation. I'm really sorry. I didn't, I didn't talk to you about the articulation. Right, so he, he does this. He's swivel. I should swivel, but it's really stiff, man. There's not much going on there. There's the two arms there. There's no wrist. And then the, it's five POA. No, it's not. It's six. One, two, three, four, five, six with the, with the waist. And I'm just a bit worried about him fitting in the skiff. Because he's quite wide. I'm sure it'll, it'll, it'll happen. But there's going to be a bit of jer, jer, jer jiggling right now. So if you just bear with me, I'll sort that out for you and then bring it to you when it's done. And we're done. That wasn't too bad. He's actually probably not got both his feet on the ground. Let's have a look and see. But I fit him in there okay. And I've actually managed to put the handles up. You see these things can articulate here. These things. So I've put them up and he's actually got his hand on one, which is good. Which is better than what uh, Vidane does because... I have trouble getting into it. Well, yeah, he's kind of touching them as well, but he's actually quite snug. Look at him. Wow, he's going on a mad contour there. Look at that. <laughs> so he's in, and that'll do. That's as pretty much as much as pretty much all he can do. I've put that on, but these even I just there as a prop. It's they're terrible. They need to be weathered. Them. I might get some silver paint on that and get creative. There you go. It's the one that came with him, but you also got one with him included. This came from Tungori, but as you can see in his hands I've put a spare like gaffy stick thing. It came with Princess Leia actually also from Tungori, but it was a good quality one. So I've put that in his hands. I think they also come with uh, yak face as well, these things, whatever they're called. I don't know. Is it a gaffy stick and you've got spears? I don't know what they are, whatever. He's got one as well. In fact, I like him on the bridge here, on the deck, but he should really be on one of these skiffs, but again, you know, as I say, I'm not going for accuracy with the Return of the Jedi. Jabba had a load of staff, he had goons, he had henchmen, people are surrounding him, his security personnel, whatever, and he would have just put them wherever. They would have all worked as a team, a, 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 an enterprise, you know what I mean? But he looks all right there, what do you think? So he fits in okay, he can touch the controls, and that will do me nicely. That will do me, let me know how you think he looks. You can maybe adjust him a bit more, but again, he looks like he's sitting back there. Or maybe he looks more comfortable like that. <laughs> Who knows? That's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have enjoyed that video. It's been nice to open him, Pope Snickin. 
you know, you don't have to have him on the skiff. You could put him somewhere else. He would look nice in the palace. But there, there you are. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Only One Kenobi. If you are new around here, do subscribe and tap the notification bell for regular uploads. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.